Hi everyone! In this video, I'd like to show you some Pokemon art. And this piece of artwork here is by Ken Sugimori, who has done a lot of the original Pokemon art, and he actually still helps out with designing the Pokemon and the art for the video games. Um, if we look over here, we can see that this is the official Certificate of Authenticity from the Pokemon Center, and I got this piece from the North American Pokemon Center website. And it also came with this black card here, which shows the title of this piece, which is Chance Encounter with a Shiny Pokemon. So if we look at this, this came out um, many years ago, actually, back when uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver first came out. And we can see uh, the male trainer here, as well as a Shiny Charizard, a Pichu, a Noctowl, a Croconaw, and a Bulbasaur. And over here in the corner, this is considered Ken Sugimori's signature. It's on all of his official artwork. And over here at the bottom, around the frame, we have Sugimori artwork, second edition, 49 out of 50. Uh, this is the second edition. It was actually the first release of this over in America. Uh, normally you could buy it in Japan. And there's only 50 copies of this artwork available for this second batch here in America. So this is really a, a great find on the PokemonCenter.com website. Um, the reason I bought this is because I'm a big fan of Gold, the male trainer from Gold, Silver, and Crystal, so I had to get this. I personally love the Johto region, so this is truly a gem. Once again, here's the certificate here. It says, this document certifies that this is an authentic print produced by the Pokemon Company International of Pokemon Art by Ken Sugimori, and that this print has been created to the highest standard of art printing. And it also mentions that this is the second edition. This here, this is actually um, a folded piece of cardstock, and um, it has the same print on the front of it. The inside here shows that it's part of the Sugimori art collection, and there's uh, Ken Sugimori's real signature. There's a picture of him. And it just gives a little bit of an autobiography there about uh, Ken. And then on the back of this card is where um, it really has some interesting information. It shows here it was done in 2002 based on the Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version video games. The concept is, in a thick forest, the main character and his Pokemon have encountered a Charizard of unusual coloring. There is no hiding the shock they experience when faced with that glittering form in the gathering gloom. And then it just mentions the Pokemon that are featured in this, as well as the male character. I really like this card because um, I find it interesting to uh, hear what the concept was behind this. And I think this is worded quite nicely, too. It says, One of the great appeals of the Pokemon video games is how dramatic scenes appear differently for every player, depending on which Pokemon you choose as partners on your journey. Try looking at these pieces again, referring to the artwork, and imagining what they might look like if they featured your favorite Pokemon instead. I hope that doing so might bring you an even deeper enjoyment. So I think that was actually a, a pretty touching addition here to add to this art. Um, just gives some insight on what Ken intended everyone to think about as we look at these pieces of his art collection. And when we look at this art print, it's actually very high quality. I know it's difficult to tell here in, in the video, but um, the paper quality that it's on is very good. The colors are extremely vibrant. Um, I'm very pleased with it. The only thing that I wasn't too happy about was it was about $250 um, from the Pokemon Center, which I thought was a little bit steep for this, especially since there's not a true autograph from Ken Sugimori on this. Um, it's just a copy of his autograph. But it does come with this black frame and the white stock around the photo. And it also has um, a hanger on the back, too, so you can hang it on a wall. This is the back of the art print in the frame. As you can see, there's a wire that you can use to um, hang this from a wall. And there's also an envelope sleeve attached to the back. And that's where you can slide in the, uh, the card that talks about the art. This right here. So it just nicely slides right in. 
Uh, that way you can store that card right with the artwork itself. Thanks for checking out my video as well as looking at this wonderful piece of artwork. Um, if you have any comments, feel free to post them on the video. And just so you know, uh, last time I looked, there are still some other art prints available on the PokemonCenter.com website. And I'm even thinking of buying a couple more myself. There's one showing uh, the female trainer from Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, as well as um, one that shows Latios and Latias flying through the sky. So I might end up grabbing those as well. Thanks for watching.